Hi, Kim Eagle here for the Marfan Foundation and the Gentac Alliance. What do I want emergency department caregivers to know uh, as we go into a- aortic disease awareness uh, week? Number one, always take a family history of aortic and vascular diseases. Uh, when a patient comes in with uh, the onset of chest or back pain, some some symptom that may well be due to uh, an aortopathy. When you take a family history and you get the history of sudden death, don't assume that that was due to a coronary event or to uh, you know a ventricular arrhythmia, for example. We have to be aware that that sometimes uh, sudden onset of aortic disease can re- can lead to sudden death, uh, and and or a cerebral aneurysm that ruptures can lead to sudden death. And if there's no autopsy, then the family doesn't know, and the post mortem uh, you know finding is going to just be listed sudden cardiac death, uh, and that's a really important nuance that we have to find. When patients present with an acute aortic syndrome, chest pain or back pain is present in 95%. And the most defining historical feature of that is the instantaneous onset of that pain. Boom! They have a photographic memory of when it started, what they were doing, exactly what was going on in their life. And that's different than patients who come in, say, with a heart attack, which, uh, which is obviously far more common but uh, also generally less lethal. So those would be three things that I would uh, like uh, emergency department caregivers to be aware of uh, during uh, Aortic Awareness Week.